right all over the other places. Hello. Hello, MCM London, how are we? Hi. <laughs> it's just people dotted about like, who's this? Who's this weird man? He's talking. <laughs> MCM London, how are you? Yeah, I like it. There's at least one. <laughs> we have Nell Tiger Free on the sofa. Round of applause, please. Hi. That's it. <laughs> how are you, Nell? I'm good. How are, are you? Are you good? Yeah, wicked. Um, I'm absolutely brilliant. How's con been for you so far? Um, it's been amazing. This is actually my first one. So well, like ever? Ever. Ever, ever. Wow. Mm -hmm. So you're enjoying the experience so far? So far, it's been amazing. Everybody's costumes are incredible. I was about to ask that question. Right. Any cosplayers around that you've looked at and you've just gone, whoa? Yeah, I've seen some amazing Harley Quinns. Yeah? They look gorgeous. And I saw somebody who was like head to toe. Yeah. Um, I, you know the Scooby-Doo movie? Yeah. He head to toe like as a monster from Scooby Doo. Oh wow! And he was like full body paint and like had a mask on and everything. I was like, you go, <laughs> you smash it. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to talk Marcella Baratheon. Okay. Because obviously most people are going to want to know about this. Yes. Um, I'm going to start with how did you get the part? Um, it was pretty pretty standard. I mean, um, my my agent called and said that we've got a really cool audition for you for Game of Thrones. If you want to go and I was like yeah, obviously yeah <laughs> and um, I went down and um, I just met the the casting agent okay and I got a call three or four days later and they said they wanted me to come back and meet David and Dan and the producer, ev everyone and um, straight off of that I got a call three days after that and they were like yeah, yeah we, we want you was it daunting going on to set for that first time? Or was it daunting just literally going into makeup, then costume, then... Yeah, when I went into, uh, into makeup for the first time, I was, um, I was sat on the trailer and you could see everybody's wigs, like yeah. Daenerys' wigs and like Whoa. severed heads. They were like makeup and like arm bits all like working on them. And I just went and sat down and I was like, oh my God, <laughs> this is scary. This is so surreal. I, none I of those heads are for me, but they were. Yeah. So, yeah, it was so very daunting, very, very daunting. Yeah, but exciting. Yeah, but. so have you, you've obviously been on certain sets, Game of Thrones sets. What kind of ones that were, that were that like knocked you out? As soon as you went in, you were just like, your eyes were everywhere. We were actually really lucky. We got to film in the Alcazar Palace in yeah. Seville. And um, it was like a real life palace. It was in, incredible. We walked in and just blew everyone away. We were like so shocked that we even were allowed to film in there. Yeah. Because it was like really just old and beautiful. Yeah. And it was amazing. That was my favorite one. Was it? Yeah. Also uh, the docks in Croatia. We got to see, we were down in Split in Croatia and we were on the docks and it was amazing. Wow. Did you know that Cersei and Jamie were your real parents or would you kind of, or would you, would you told that at the beginning and then... <clears throat> Did Marcella know or did I know? You and my. Well, do you think Marcella knew, or do you? Uh, did you know? Let's let's go original first. Did okay. you originally know you yourself, Nell? Did you know that Jamie and Cersei were your real? That parents? I was a product of twincest. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> I knew. I knew. Yeah. I mean, I think everyone knew, didn't they? That. Yeah. To a, to a degree. I mean, Ooh. obviously, brother sister. That's um, my brother. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that guy. Yeah. Um, so, um, but obviously. Did you think Marcella knew, or did you think it was kind of a fact that she was... Definitely. You definitely, she definitely knew. definitely knew. I mean, when, when Marcella's dying and um, her dad, Jamie, is, is like hugging her, the, the last thing she says before she dies is, if I remember right, I think it is, um, I know, I always knew you were my father. Yeah. I think, I think that those are her dying words. I mean, she doesn't really... Yeah, I mean... <laughs> <laughs> that's not my dad. That's not my dad. <laughs> but yeah. I mean, that's cool. I mean, obviously, that's the kind of... That's who you're led to believe, obviously, uh, who the, the dad is. Yeah. Um, Robert. But, yeah, I mean, obviously, watching it as a fan and you're, you're seeing the story unfold, you're kind of like... Surely they've got to have an inkling about they know who their real parents are because of the way them them adults are acting around them. I don't think Tommen has a clue. I, I don't yeah, think... I think it. Tommen's just literally <laughs> straightforward. He's had that beautiful princess in front of him, wasn't he? And <laughs> I think Tommen struck. is just like... I think Tommen was just trying not to die, really, the whole yeah. time. I don't think he knew at all. But I think... <laughs> I think Marcella always knew. Like... I mean, I think Marcella's a smart girl. Yeah. I mean, she was before she died. But I, I think, I think she, was, she was smart. And also, like... 
I don't know. It's just, um, yeah, I'm pretty sure she knew. I mean, you look at the picture and you're kind of like... We look alike, don't we? Yeah, you look alike, but you're looking at the picture and you're really taken with it. When I'm watching you look at it, you're really taken and sucking it in. Like you was really, It looks like you really enjoyed playing the part, to be quite fair. Oh, my God, I loved playing her. Yeah. I loved her so much. Yeah. I loved how she got to wear those big floaty dresses and then turn around and be like, no, I'm staying here. Yeah. I love my husband. Go away to yeah. like her dad. But I, I think there were quite a few layers to Miss Ella, but... What do you, I loved her. What layer do you think that, that you explored in a character you, you really liked the most and you found challenging to kind of portray on screen? Um, what was challenging about portraying yeah, Miss Ella? Yeah. I think because on, on first glance, she's very like, huh, I love my boyfriend, please don't make me leave. Yeah, you know, yeah. I mean, people that would have described her as a melt, I've heard a couple of yeah. times. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. But I, I don't think she was, really. I think, I think deep down there was a lot of... I think there was, there's some of her mother's like, strength in her. Yeah. But what's nice about Marcella, in my opinion, is she was one of the only characters who like, never was that mean to anyone. Yeah. She was always, she was always kind of sweet, you know? And they gave her amazing hair. Wait, <laughs> I was about to say... None no, of that was mine. No, just a wig, was it? Um, it was extensions. extensions. My hair came down to around there, and then they gave okay. me loads of layers. It was took ages as well. They had to and sew it into my head. I mean, look at this. the the costumes. Absolutely stunning. Did you? I know. Do you have a favourite costume? Did you ever get to take any home? Mm, did I get to take them home? Yeah. No, they don't even really? let you take. They don't let you take anything home on the on the set. Like, Studio. That's going to be in our next exhibit down no, at the exactly, O2. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. I was like, do you want to give me the wig or like no? And they were like, no. But um, <laughs> my favorite dress, I don't know. I, I like the pink one with the yeah. orange underneath. That was nice. And I, my death dress was amazing. My death dress had <laughs> uh, the head of a deer in gold yeah. on it. And it was killer. It was so yeah. cool. You love that. I loved it. I was going to say, um, would you have, I mean, your character's deaf. Would you have liked a more elaborate death? Because obviously the Game of Thrones character deaths are kind of, elaborate in a sense yeah. would you have rather have had a better death than poisoning well originally i don't know if i should say this but originally what happened is they gave me loads of mashed up bananas with like blood like fake blood and my brains were supposed to be all over the the ship and stuff and really? i was so excited like i don't like gore but like i knew that they were just like bananas so like i was okay yeah. with it and oh um but they cut it out they cut it out because they wanted Marcella's death to reflect her life and wanted it to be sweet, which is rare for yeah. Thrones. And well, unlike is, my husband, yeah. who got a spear like straight through his face. <laughs> Was you but, present on set when he got the spear? Not my husband, not my real husband. No. <laughs> um, um, what, sorry, what did you say? Yeah, you? the guy you said got speared. Toby. Yeah, Toby. Was you there on set when he was going through that scene? I wasn't. I no. wish I was. I would have loved to have seen that. No, we, we joked around as to how he was going to die if he yeah. died before we all knew that we were going to get killed off. We used to joke around about it and be like, oh, imagine if your head just gets straight cut <laughs> off and like, yeah. and then that happened. And I was like, oh, Toby. I rung him. I was like, what a death. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I like it. But this scene here is such a touching scene with Jamie. Um, was it a hard scene for you or did you kind of did you know did the actor who played Jamie was he nice to you and, and eased you through all of that because it was obviously a kind of you know I you know I am your your father and yeah. you're like kind Luke, of Luke I am your father I, I, I know <laughs> you know but was it a hard scene to film or was you this was actually probably my favorite scene to yeah. film because Nikolai is just an amazing actor I just I I marvel at him I think yeah. he's fantastic and um, he was so sweet always always so lovely and so sweet and I mean it's a big task to be put on a f I was 15 when we shot this and it yeah. was a, a big task to be put on a 15 year old girl's shoulders to you know die in Game of Thrones like everyone wants to die in Game of Thrones so I was like okay I got to do this and he just walked me through it and because yeah. they had to put fake oh my god that was loud I'm sorry because <laughs> they had to put fake blood like up my nose and I was like yeah. like and he was so nice and Wow. I loved filming this scene. I loved it. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Yeah. Um, I'm going to go on to ask you, have you, did you get any chance to sit on the Iron Throne yourself? I, I never got to sit on it in the show, obviously, but yeah. on one of my last days, me and my mum kind of snuck behind. I was like, <laughs> can I sit on the throne? They were like, yeah, go on. So I sat on it for a second and then I got too upset because so I was like, I'm never going to get to sit on this, so no. I'm going to go. But my mum loved it. She got like 50 pictures sitting on there. But she made me tweet it. 
but you never got you're never going to be able to sit on it but you sat on it then but also you've got a legacy because that leg that part of that little legacy game of thrones you have which no one else can take that's absolutely true. ever yeah um, i mean it'll always be i a think part. that's brilliant um so have you have you got kind of who do you who you want to be on the throne to finish up it finishes up season obviously eight I have some inklings. I have Do some. You? I have some. Some theories. Um, who would you like? Who's top who of would your I list? Want? Yeah, who's top of your list to sit and finish up on the Iron Throne? I think Marcella should come back as a White Walker and then sit on the Iron Throne. Personally, no I'm joking. Ooh, <laughs> I just had goose Tyrion. There. No way. Tyrion. I want Tyrion, Tyrion on the throne. I think he's hilarious and he's just the best. See, I'd want him to be on the I throne. I love Jon Snow, and if he doesn't sit on that throne at the end of Jon season Snow. eight, I will literally just drop the mic. Mic I mean, drop. That's it, mic drop. I'm gone, I'm out. No, but, I love Tyrion. I think yeah. he's the best. Tyrion is awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Um, so, you liked your death. We went through Game of Thrones. Tyrion on the throne for you. Um, what is next for you now? Um, I was just in Italy for six months yeah. filming a new feature film, which yeah. hopefully should be out by this year. Um, okay. I hope so. It's called, should I say what it's called? Go for it. I'm going to say it. It's Exclusive. called Wonderwell. Yeah. Um, there are some really amazing people in it as well. I was so lucky to work with Can you with tell them. us who's in it at all? Maybe I will. I will tell you. Um, yeah. Carrie Fisher was in it with me. She was oh, fantastic. Wow. And Rita Ora as well. So I got to work with her too and some other cool people. Vincent Spano. It was just like a great cast. Really, really cool people. Wow. Yeah. Was, all, she, was, cool. she like, was she like what they always take the mick out of random? Oh my God, babes. Who? Rita Aurora. Rita. Rita's a babe. <laughs> she's adorable. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she's so nice. She's so nice. Yeah. So, what, so you've got that feature film. Anything else that's coming up in the pipeline? Anything music wise or anything like that? Music wise. Could you said about yes. music? I do sing and uh, yeah. play piano and stuff. And yeah. I'm actually heading to LA in a yeah. couple of days for some things to do with that but yeah nice would you say music's kind of your main focal point or do you enjoy acting um or is it kind of a fact that you like to do both and you want both in your life yeah i love both of them the thing is with music is i think it's kind of scarier because with acting you're just pretending to be somebody else yeah so if they don't like you it's like well it's not really me so you can't not like me but if, if with music if you release a song or you do something it's, it's all you yeah. So I think that's always scarier, which is why it's kind of harder for me with, with for that. But um, I, as passion-wise goes, I, I love them both yeah. so much. That's amazing. Now, so there's a bright future for you. I hope so. Uh, coming up in everything that you do. I hope so. Um, thank you for joining me on the thank MIM you for bus me. sofa. Thank it's you. been amazing. You've been amazing. Thank, thank you. you very much. Uh, remember, guys, to like, subscribe, and share this video on YouTube. We're on there the whole weekend here at the XO at London uh, MCM Comic Con. Please join us again. We've got Lou Ferrigno coming on this sofa, the original Hulk. Are you going to be around to see that? Yeah, I'll come have a look. Yeah, going to come by. Nell's coming by to watch. So make sure you park your seat. Get on the seat, park your bum, um, and join us then, guys. Thank you very much. Now, round of applause, everybody, Thank for you. now. And we'll see you soon, guys.